Hi everyone, Debbie here again. Um, I just wanted to share a quick video on a scrapbook layout that I just completed of my granddaughter. Uh, I wanted to do it all in white so that um, the photo was more prominent on the page. Um, and I decided to do just a little pop of black and a tiny little bit of pink because of what she was wearing. Um, so I'll start at the top here. This flower was made with a Kaiser Craft um, lace pack that I had. The outer layer is an inch wide and the inner one is about half inch. And then this was a Tim Holtz accoutrement pack that had buttons in it. Uh, this flower and this flower were made with the Cuddlebug uh, Chrysanthemum die that I have and then this one I just quilled. Um, I cut a smaller, I cut the same piece with my Cuddlebug die but then I cut it smaller so I can make a smaller flower. Um, this was one of my Spellbinders dies and I'll put a list of everything in the um, description below the video just so you know which ones that I used because there's so many of the dies I used I'll just list it below. Uh, I used my Cricut to cut this and it was the Cricut alphabet. Uh, this uh, banner that I used in the background um, I used a Tim Holtz stamp and uh, my stamp of my jig and I just lined it up and stamped the image, you know, um, just one side of the stamp and then I moved it over and stamped all the way down to the bottom. Uh, this background piece and this one uh, were embossed with my cuddle bug and I'll put the names of the embossing folders that I used. Uh, these were also cut, the butterflies, um, these little flowers, uh, the bird and birdhouse and the vines and these little medallions um, they were all cut with dyes that I have and I'll list that below. Uh, I had a sparkly sort of iridescent rickrack and then another piece of ribbon here that was sort of iridescent. Um, I bought them at a market so they don't have a name. Um, this pink border was also cut with one of my dies. It was a Spellbinders die. This was a chipboard piece that came, um, I'm thinking I got it at Big W, but I can't swear to it. And it, the name on the packet says Mercy or Mercy, however you say it, M-E-R-C-I. And it was, um, it doesn't have a name as to the design. I'll show you the packet. Um, this was the packet. But it doesn't have a name. Um, and I'm pretty sure I got it at Big W. And then you can't really tell. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. It's, it's very difficult to see. But in the background, I actually used this um, Crafters Workshop uh, stencil and I sprayed it with Lindy's, uh, I think it was Lindy's Stamp Gang um, called Diamond and it, it has a really pretty glittery look to it in the background but you can't really see it I don't think. Um, the leaves were cut with my cuddle bug and then most of the pieces I, I painted with a paintbrush with uh, white glue and then I sprinkled them with Martha Stewart's fine uh, glitter. Uh, this bird I actually embossed um, with the, you can't probably see it, but it's got an iridescent look to it. It's an embossing powder. Um, that I bought that has, when you look at it, it looks like it has glitter in it um, and it gives you sort of an iridescent look. 
Um, this flower was cut. All of these have um, netting in them, um, and I just put it in between the layers. And these little tiny pieces that I cut, I also painted with white glue and sprinkled with glitter. So they're very sparkly and glittery. And did that with the leaves and the vines and the birdhouse and the bird. Um, I put a little bit on the centers of the butterflies just to give it a little more dimension. I put uh, a feather and some um, beaded filament um, which came from the wedding section at Spotlight. Um, I put that behind the flower and then I did add on a few of the little flower centers I added some pearls and on these I put little rhinestones. But um, I just wanted to share that one and I will put a description below of all of the um, products that I used. So that is my Imagine the Possibilities um, layout for my granddaughter. The photo was so beautiful I wanted to do it all in white um, so that it really stood out and I also wanted to um, put in a pop of black because I think that just looked really nice and a friend of mine um, always says when she does her work that um, she puts in a pop of black and it, and it really does make a difference. I also made this um, stick pin uh, just has a black bead and um, I put another little bead in between that, that you can hang something from as a pearl on the top and some um, that's a bead cap there. Uh, this was stamped as well and I used black embossing powder. Um, this was stamped on a piece of clear acetate and um, I think that's it. So I will end this video and um, hopefully you enjoyed it and if you have any questions let me know. Thanks. Bye.